Welcome to the Horn Museum of Art at the University of Florida in Gainesville, Florida. I'm Martin McKellar, the Asian Garden Specialist and volunteer here at the museum. In part uh, due to a generous donation from Dr. and Mrs. David Coffrin, the Horn was able to build this beautiful addition with the sole purpose of showcasing Asian art. In the original plans, there was also a provision for the creation of two Asian-inspired gardens. These gardens were designed by Huichi Kurisu of Kurisu International. This landscape firm has an international reputation for their garden design. Today we're going to look at one of those two gardens, the Dry Garden. The, uh, this is the only public example of this type of garden in north central Florida, of a dry garden or a karisansui garden. Karisansui is Japanese for dry landscape. So isn't it exciting that we're going to get a chance to see this type of garden? It consists of uh, 12 large rocks, five small tree-sized potted plants, and pea-sized granite gravel. Many of us are familiar with sand and rock gardens, often called Zen meditation gardens. Many of these uh, famous and historical gardens exist in Kyoto, Japan. Certainly, the prominent features of these gardens can be found in this garden. For example, the large rocks, the sparse planting, the design raked into the gravel, other aspects of this garden are um, accommodations to contemporary life and convenience. For example, the bench, the in-ground lighting, the spotlights, the seating along the paved walkway, and the transparent perimeter fence that allows you to look past the garden to the campus beyond. At first, it might be difficult to imagine how you would enjoy a garden like this with so few plants. These gardens were originally designed to facilitate reflection and meditation. The simplicity of the design uh, eliminates possible distractions. Visitors to this garden will frequently comment on the peace and the tranquility that they feel while they're in this garden. A particular exercise that I use to help me uh, enjoy this garden is that I imagine each of the rocks as a large mountainous island in the middle of the ocean. Once when I was flying over an ocean, I looked out of the plane window and I could see the silver colored reflection of the sunlight on the surface of the ocean. So I use that now to help me imagine that the gravel is the ocean, that the lines in the gravel are the waves, all of it around mountainous islands in the middle of the ocean. This brings us to another aspect of the garden, the lines or the design in the gravel. These uh, lines are not permanent. These lines or the design are raked into the gravel. In some gardens, the, this is done every day. In other gardens, this is done maybe only once a month. In this garden, uh, it's done every week. In some gardens, the design changes. In other gardens, the design is always the same. Raking the design into the gravel, some people consider to be another form of meditation. I'm the person who rakes the design in this garden, and this is the rake that I use. The um, rake is made out of wood, and it's really heavy. And that's a good thing because the weight of the rake helps it make the lines in the gravel. I change the design depending on uh, how I want it to help me think or feel. One thing you might do while you're uh, enjoying the garden is to think of what type of design you would make in the garden. We hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction to the David A. Coffrin Asian Wing Dry Garden at the Harn Museum of Art. We look forward to your visit. See you soon.